When exporting to an EPUB file, there are a lot of choices to choose from. Let's explore the EPUB export dialog box by exporting this EPUB export.indd file that I have open right now. Now, before I actually go into the export dialog box, there's a couple of things that I wanted to have you change so you know where to control them before you export your EPUB. Two of those things that we should add is the title of the document and the author of the document as well. So I'm going to go to the File menu and I'm going to choose File Info. And that's going to open up my File Info dialog box where I can go into the Description tab and I can enter a document title. So I'm going to enter in here the Wild Isles and the author, I'm going to make that Learn by Video. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And that adds metadata to this file that will be included when I export the EPUB. Now let's get down to business. We'll go to the File menu and choose Export. And I'll choose EPUB for the format. And I'll leave the name set to EPUB Export. Go ahead and choose Save. And now we get into our EPUB Export options. So in this general category, up here at the top we can choose the version that we want to use. EPUB 2 is the current standard, but EPUB 3 is gaining ground. And EPUB 3 offers enhanced functionality, which utilizes HTML5 and CSS3, that includes increased formatting capabilities inside of the EPUB. Now, down here under the setup, for the cover, we can choose to rasterize the first page, which is what I'm going to do in this example. But if we wanted to, we could choose a separate image to use as the cover for our EPUB. In addition, you can see that we're applying our TOC style, our navigational TOC, called Travel TOC. And if we wanted to, we could add margins to our document to bump the text in and the content in from the edge of the page. The content order is the same as the articles panel, since that's how we ordered our content. And then in the text options, you can see that we can place footnotes after the paragraph if we've used the footnotes feature in InDesign. And we can also remove forced line breaks. So if you have a document where somebody used a lot of soft returns to break lines, you may want to remove them in the EPUB because they're probably not going to break properly when viewed in the EPUB format on the different devices. Also, your bulleted lists and numbered lists are going to map to the proper HTML lists. And then we're going to switch over to the image category. Now, preserve appearance from layout is going to honor any overrides that you've applied in the object export options dialog box. But otherwise, you can control the resolution and alignment of images that are exported out of InDesign. So I'm going to switch over to the advanced category now. If we wanted to, we could split our document at a certain style that was used. So in some documents, maybe you used a certain chapter intro style that you want to use to split the document at that location. You could do that right here in this drop-down menu. EPUB metadata, I'm definitely going to include the document metadata. That's what we just added in our file info dialog box. You can add a publisher and a unique ID to the EPUB as well. In the CSS options, we can choose to let InDesign generate the CSS for us which is what we're doing here. We are going to allow preserve local overrides, and that's any overrides that have been applied to any styles in our text are going to be preserved inside of the exported EPUB. And then we're also going to include embeddable fonts. And that's possible now with EPUB 3, we have a lot more support for the embedded fonts. If you have additional CSS that you've written to use to format your EPUB, you can add that style sheet right here. And if you wanted to add any JavaScript to your document, you could do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And in my resulting EPUB, you're going to notice that the navigational TOC is right here. If I scroll through this, you can see that the articles panel is controlling how the content is getting formatted. And a new feature in the latest version of Adobe InDesign is support for indexes that have been created inside of the InDesign document. And they actually work if I click on this area, it's going to jump to that point in my document.
I'm going to add that EPUB to my library. I'm just going to choose Add to Library, and I'll navigate to my Exercise Files folder. And we're going to grab that file. You can see that when I add this item to my library, we can see that the cover appears. That's the rasterized first page that we used. And the metadata that we added in the File Info dialog box appears here. Here's the title as well as the author of this EPUB. So the options that you choose when exporting an EPUB will vary depending on your needs. But understanding what they do and how to control their behavior will give you the ability to generate an EPUB with the appearance that you want.